15 seconds on the clock. We're going to begin with a lateral bear crawl. You're on your hands and knees. Your spine is long. Your eyes are looking down. And you're going to start moving to the side. You can do three or four depending on how much space you have. I can only do three on my mat. Try to keep your knees just a few inches off the ground. Brace the core. You're doing a great job. Move as quickly as you can with the best form possible. Next up, we have a V sit with an option to open and close your legs. So come down to a seated position, leaning your weight back on your hands. Knees are towards your chest. Get ready, here we go. Knees in and out and then open those legs and close them if you want, or you can just keep bringing those knees in and out. Totally up to you. The next move is a burpee combined with an air jack. In the plank portion of the burpee, I want you to pause for just a second and engage your glutes.
coming to one end of the mat, facing the mat, for a skater combined with a hop. So you're going to be skating from one foot to the other, landing softly and driving the knee up in a hop. Here we go. Land and knee drive and hop. Land and knee drive and hop. Quiet feet. Coming down to a plank position for a Spider-Man sit-through combo. So hands are under the shoulders and legs are long. You're going to be stepping forward with one foot to the outside of the same hand, bringing the opposite leg through the arms and reaching for the toes, jumping back into a plank position and repeating on the other side. You can come up to a standing position just to ease the body out a little bit, but our next move is going to be crab dance. So you're going to come down right away, sitting right down on your butt, and you're going to be pressing into one foot, extending the other leg, and reaching for those toes with the opposite hand. Make sure you're lifting and lowering, squeezing your glutes with every lift. Turning over and coming into a plank position, we're going to be doing a prone cross toe combined with two plank jacks. So a prone cross toe to either side. So you're in the plank position and you're going to be sweeping one leg through to the opposite hand and touching those toes and then two plank jacks. Brace your core and try to minimize the hip movement as much as possible. I am not doing the best job here, but I am trying, I promise. Drop down to your knees and relax. We're going to be staying in the plank position for froggers. So come back into plank on your toes and hands, and you're going to be jumping forward into a big squat, feet outside of the hands, drop the hips down and lift the chest. Keep it going.
relax, walk around, kick things out, do whatever you need to do, and then come right back down. We're going to be either doing a push-up from our knees or toes. I'm going to stick with the knees. I've got a bum shoulder. So just a nice push-up and then two little taps like we did in the warm-up. Finishing up with some strong lunge jumps. This one is going to be very tough. Try to keep going as long as you can, but if you need to stop and take a break, that's all right. So legs are both at 90 degrees when you're landing. Soft landing. See if you can touch your back knee down to the floor, the ground, the mat, whatever it is that you are jumping on. Using your arms to drive if you need to or just taking them behind your head, that's a bit more advanced. I know this one was really, really tough for me and I struggled through it, but you guys keep going, keep going, ignore me, do your best. And uh, this is the final move. This has been a pretty intense workout. Thank you so much for getting sweaty with me, for choosing short circuits. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and let me know what kind of workouts you wanna see. Until next time, take care of you, be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty. Yeah, so cool.